Welcome to Bang It News. Today, Katy Perry's plea for coexistence inspires ISIS to surrender. Flame. Katy Perry's call for people to coexist after the Manchester bombing has inspired ISIS to lay down its arms. This claim is false. Description. A satirical article seized on comments by the singer, which were taken out of context. Explanation. On 24 May 2017, the Babylon Bee website published an article falsely claiming that the Islamic State had officially given up its campaign of terrorism in response to the singer Katy Perry's pleas for peaceful company existence. In the aftermath of the Manchester Arena bomb attack, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of the Islamic State, released a statement Wednesday confirming that ISIS would be immediately surrendering its fight to establish a powerful caliphate after viewing an interview in which pop singer Katy Perry said, The greatest thing we can do just unite and love on each other and like, no barriers, no borders, like, we all need to just company exist. The article, which is intended to be humorous, alludes to comments made by Perry on the Elvis Duran Morning Show on 23 May 2017, the day after a suicide bombing at the Manchester Arena killed 22 people. In that interview, the singer said I think the greatest thing that we can do now is just unite as people, as fan bases, all of it, you know, whatever we say behind people's backs because the internet can be a little bit ruthless as far as fan bases go but I think that the greatest thing we can do is just Unite and love on each other. And no barriers, no borders we all need to just coexist. Perry's comments attracted ridicule in some quarters, with the conservative website The Blaze's Carlos Garcia writing social media mock pop singer. Katy Perry for politicizing the terror attack Monday night in Manchester, England, and using the horrific event to promote a liberal agenda Fox News. Commentator Michelle Malkin also criticized Perry's comments as an example of awe. For full explanation, see the description.